is allegedly nudie, and here's another weekly hobby update. This one is a bit early this week because I'm going to be busy. I want to get these out as soon as I record them, just so you know. You guys are as up to date as I am as what's going on. And it has been a busy five days since the last update. Um, I've gotten a lot done. I got my first sergeant painted um, in the Roman scheme that I'm doing. Uh, he has the left pauldron in blue to represent the fact that he's part of the second um, company, the second cohort. Uh, I also got second sergeant for the uh, the squad that's going to be the split squad, the mounted gun for the um, close range half of the split squad, and the missile launcher for the long range half. I've also gotten a bunch of all of the um, legs and torsos of glued together. Uh, I've been magnetizing like crazy. I got this contemptor dreadnought. I've magnetized his weapons. Right now they're a little bit loose, but once paint gets on, a couple of, a coat of paint or two, it should stick well. It should stay, uh, have enough surface, um, enough friction. And the big deal, I have magnetized just these two weapon options right now, because honestly, I don't see a point in using the chainsword, the thermal cannon, or the uh, thunderstrike gauntlet. They didn't, they don't seem to work that well. So I'm, I'm going with it being a knight crusader, so I have these two magnetized. But if I ever want to change that, if I get more magnets, I could attach the leaper chainsword or the thunderstrike gauntlet. So that's nice. Hobby news, um, the first uh, frequently asked questions for 8th edition was released, the f about the actual edition, not about its launch, because we got that long ago. Um, it's official, you can only have with Astro Militarum, you can only have one command squad per officer. So, uh, doesn't look like using your command squads as if you're only using. There's actually a reason to use, uh. The camera shifted. That's problematic. Ah. Okay. Um, that doesn't really matter what you're looking at. She's talking. Um, so that means no more med pack command squads as medic units, and you actually have a reason to use special weapons squads, since if you only have one officer, you can't really use the, um, you can't really use a bunch of company command squads as veteran special weapons teams, which is why I've been using them as in my two games of 8th edition. Yeah, I got two games in. Uh, first one was up against the Eldor. Um, it was the combined Eldor, the whatever it is. Um, it was mainly just Craft World Eldor and one Dark Eldor character can't remember the character's name started with a Y. Um, but basically it's... I played a lot of Eldar on 7th... against a lot of Eldar on 7th edition, and it was refreshing to see some... I have to fix this camera stand. It was refreshing to see some... other units. I mean, I saw a Wave Serpent. I saw a... I'll just hold this. I saw a uh, 
grafting, I saw Wraith God, which I didn't even know were a thing, and they did very well. Um, he actually brought rangers, which was surprising. Um, striking scorpions, swooping hawks. And they all did fairly well. The rangers being the only exception. They just, they couldn't hit shit. They, he, he kept trying to take out my characters and maybe two shots would get through from a five man. Two shots would get through from his ten rangers. He had two five man squads. And then none of them, if they did wound, my armor save was always enough. So that was unfortunate for him. Wraith Guard, though, that just, um, it's soul burst shooting and took out half my, half the 30 man blob conscripts and then it went on to its normal shooting and took out the rest of the conscripts. It was crazy. Um, the, I also played against, um, Militarum Tempestus Army, which had three Valkyries and four Torox Primes, one of which was a Gatling, the other three were the Missile Launcher. Um, Scion Squad's first turn coming out of those Valkyries are overpowered, because the Valkyrie can move the full distance. Then the Scions can disembark up to three inches away from the base of the Valkyrie, and then they get to move another six inches, and then they get to fire, and then they get to charge. So that's insane and overpowered the camera's still messing up. That's fun. Uh okay. Let's just maybe that'll fix it. A bit. Maybe. Kind of. Kinda of worked. Kinda of, yeah. Um <clears throat> and but this guy, the uh, Knight Crusader, he did extremely well. Was able to shoot down two Valkyries and go and stomp three Toroxes to death? No, only two. No, only two. Um, I didn't use the drop pod that time. I put my uh, shooty tactical squad, um, the combi plasma, plasma gun, heavy bolt to one in a rhino, ran that up, jumped them out the back, they shot a bunch. Um, ran the rhino, uh, he maneuvered one of his toxes into, like, the corner of a building, and I just ran the rhino into it, uh, put them into combat together, and they got stuck together, which was nice, I suppose. Um, he had an Everstor assassin, and that just took out my last cannon team straight away, which that was a bit concerning. Mm. But all in all, it was fairly balanced. Um, after the initial... The initial volley from the Scions took out most of my conscripts. I was probably left with a 10-man blob and a 15-man blob. But once that happened, they were... Those conscripts kept shooting to the last man, and they did a very good job of it. So, conscripts, as good as everyone says they are. I also had shotgun vets with three mounted guns and a Camaro, which I ran up and mounted the front of one of the Toroxes. Those guys died a, a turn after getting out of the Camaro, but, you know, that's kind of what they're supposed to do. Uh, didn't work as well as I'd hoped, though. All in all, though, I love 8th edition. Um, only major complaint is it seems like... The majority of factions no longer have one-shot weapons. The majority of vehicles don't. I mean, the Valkyrie, its Hellstrike missiles are no longer one-shot. But the Manticore still only has four one-shot things when a game will last five turns. I think that's an oversight or a problem, but no. Worked well. Um... All in all, I'm happy with 8th edition, I'm happy with this update, I'm happy with what I've been able to get done, and I will see you next week.